Hello everyone and welcome to another video of just me talking. I'm Ultima Mantoid and as you guys remember last year I had the donation incentives for 2017. I have another set of donation incentives for 2018 for those of you that keep up with my Twitch channel and I wanted to just read them out to you. I have one that is situational and I'll get to that when I get there um, but we've already met the first incentive just on bits and subscriptions alone just because you know fifty dollars is fifty dollars uh fifty dollar tier was metal combat falcons revenge as tornado no damage real mode high this will finish the battle clash metal combat series i won't have anything else past that for that game series i will have done everything on as pretty much as perfectly as possible um but that was the one that we've already met uh, yes, I'm aware I haven't gotten to some of the incentives from last year. Uh, I got a little bit busy, had a little burnout, needed some time to myself around September, October. Um, I started picking things back up in November, and then I had Mega Simber for December. And this month is mostly just catching up, getting my thousand follower thing done. And I'm going to get back to, I've still got to, you know, do, I want to be the Boshi. I got to do Mighty Number no. 9. I got to do Mega Man X7. Ugh. And yes, we did meet the incentive for the Final Fantasy X one. So that's going to take like, you know, two to three hundred hours. I hope y'all are going to enjoy that one. Tons and tons and tons and tons of mindless grinding. Um, and we might have hit the $1,500 one. It's very close. It's pretty much within $10 range either way. And if we didn't make it, that incentive goes into 2018. If we did make it... I'll read you, and that's what I'll explain. But anyway, so fifty dollars was Metal Combat, Falcon's Revenge, is Tornado. A hundred dollars is Zelda Two: The Adventures of Link. Beat the game. Actually, just beat the game. I never could beat it. I still had no idea how to beat it. I have still never beaten it. So I just have to beat the game, and that right there is going to be pain in the ass on its own because again, it's Zelda Two. That game is notoriously difficult. $200 is Final Doom, the Plutonia Experiment, no BFG. Um, that will probably play normally until map 12, and then it's going to get interesting. $250 will be the continuation of last year's. Mega Man X2, Buster only, no charge shots, no upgrades. This time, because dash isn't an upgrade, I will be allowed to dash. I just can't do anything else. Uh, $350, we have the Pokemon trading card game. No evolution cards, no coin flip manipulation. So, I'm pretty much stuck using basic Pokemon, trainer cards, and I can't play with the coin system to get, you know, to, to make the fights or battles swing in my favor. $500 will be Final Fantasy Tactics Auto Battle Only, which means I'm not going to be playing the game. That's part of the challenge. I have to let the AI beat the game itself. So all of my work is going to be in the menuing and the uh, party system, being able to have parties that are you know capable enough to be able to handle the situations as they come in the battles. So that's going to make things really more strategic preemptively than go in there and, okay, I can assess the situation. You know, this guy needs to die now, as opposed to how am I going to handle this on the broad spectrum? For $666, we have Hell Revealed 2 Project Brutality. The only thing I'm worried about, and I have tested this one a little bit, is obviously map 32. I don't know if I can do it without a black hole gun. Simple enough. So we'll have to see how that works out. Uh, $777 will be Metal Gear Solid Extreme Difficulty. The game turns 20 years old this year, if I remember right. And I wanted, and I like Metal Gear Solid 1. So I wanted to add a Metal Gear Solid game into the list of challenges. So I thought, why not see if I can do it on extreme mode? Just thought I would, you know, see if I could. A thousand dollars is Star Ocean 2, the second story, universe mode, all bosses, 
donators will get names. Um, this is straight donations. This is, um, well, no. I might be able to do it with bits. I could do it last year with bits because it was a new system for me. This year it's going to be a little bit different. Um, but I'll, I'll work the math out when we get there, I'm sure. I'll figure it out. It'll either be straight donations or maybe I'll include bits. Um, I don't know if I'll include subs. I don't know. Like, I'll just have to check, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. $1,500 or 1500 is going to be Final Fantasy VIII Draw and Magic only. Which means I can have a GF junction to each character. I can only use Draw and Magic for combat. With a one specific exception being the final dungeon. Because it, the game just says screw you and takes everything away from you. Um, I also don't like playing, uh, playing, uh, playing uh, Final Fantasy VIII. For the fact that that game drives me absolutely crazy. It's a great soundtrack, but the playing in it is just drives me up a wall. Um, now the two thousand dollar incentive. This is where I move Final Fantasy or I move Mega Man X six from fifteen hundred to two thousand, um, and that's because of the situational. If we did not meet the fifteen hundred in twenty seventeen. That will become the new 2000, so it'll be X6 is X, Buster only, no charge shots, minimalist. But if we didn't, and I don't know why I didn't write it down, give me a second, I gotta pull up the other list. Okay, the other one was. Uh. And Mega Man X6 as unarmored X, Buster only, no charge shots, 100%. Meaning get all heart tanks, get all armors, save all 128 reploids. None of them can go missing, none of them can die. However, at least I get flexibility and I can customize X however I want to in this one. Um, so that's that. But that's why the $2,000 one is a flex one. Because I don't know. I'm not going to know until March. So I'll probably tweet out what it'll be when I find out in in March. So, um, where was that? $2,500 is Final Fantasy NES Solo Black Mage. Top donator gets the name. $3,000 is going to be Plutonia 2. $4,000 will be Undertale Genocide no damage, no hit, whatever you want to call it. I can't remember if it was just called no damage or it was a no hit. Like, you're not getting hit or you're not taking any damage, one of the two. Uh, that's going to be hell. Um, it is going to be actual hell. And then 5,000 this year is going to be Battletoads, no warps. So, yeah, everybody knows I have a vendetta with the Battletoads game. And it will be no, it will be no glitches, no warps, just beat the game. It's like the Zelda 2 one, except this is exponentially harder. <laughs> so, yeah, that's going to be a thing. That's going to go through Twitch bits and, well, maybe Twitch bits. I probably will include them, because at least I'll have a rough idea how much I'll, you know, have made. But uh, Twitch bits... And, no, yeah, Twitch Bits definitely for the totals, but the donator parts, I'm not sure. Like, the donator names, I'll have to do all sorts of math, but I'm sure I'll get it taken care of. Because I have the list of the ones that did it for 2017, and Wing Ascendant was the top donator for 2017. Uh, second place was Release the Quack and Maybe. What a name. Anyway, um... So, like, all the... Uh, the subscriptions will count in, too. Because I actually have a thing to track all that. So, subscriptions on Twitch, straight donations, bits. Um, it'll all go to the, the uh, challenge incentives. And which, in turn, will go towards hopefully being able to upgrade the PC the rest of the way. 2017 was not kind to me financially. I had been set back $2,000 in March... Because the head gaskets on my car blew out, and I 
needed to... I had cracked head gaskets, basically. So I had to get both of them replaced, which that was a pretty $2,000 a penny. So all my income tax went out the window right there, immediately. Plus, I still had to take out a loan to cover the rest of the, the cost. And then I had a car accident in May where only doing 30, 35 miles an hour, I hydroplaned into a curb and did about $600 worth of damage to my car. So... 2017 was not kind. Otherwise, I would have a totally new computer by now. But <laughs> I had to dip into the bunch really, really hard, and it sucks. But I'm hoping that nothing will come up this year that will get in the way of getting the PC upgraded. So, but I want to thank you guys for your continued support. I'm going to wrap this video up. Um, over the years, I think we're going on eight years now. I'm about to hit eight, eight years of YouTube. So, it's going to be a big deal. Uh, we're going to be hitting 10 years very, very soon for my first Let's Play. Yeah, that's a scary thought. Anyway, thanks everybody for all the support over the years, and even the new people that have stopped in. Thank you for your, you know, very recent support. And hopefully I'll see you guys on Twitch or in comment sections when I post the challenges up, because the challenges are going on the main channel. So... They're not going on the side channel, which I need to go actually do stuff with, because I've neglected it. But, yeah, anyway. I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a great start to 2018, and a great remainder of 2018. Also, the list is in the description below. Bye.